Hello. So this video is to teach you how to use Apple Classroom. And the first thing it's going to show you is if you haven't already downloaded it, you can just go into uh, self-service and download it. This iPad already has it installed. It's Miss Styles. Um, so we're just going to create a class. This is teacher information. Um, this is what they'll see when they join your class. This is what she had already had set up. Um, and here's the name of the actual class. And this is also what she had set up. I deleted it. Sorry, Miss Styles. Um, it can be whatever you want. Um, same thing with the teacher name. Um, I, I have Mr. Harvard as my teacher name, and Harvard 1718 is my class name. Uh, as you can see, there are no students enrolled in this class yet. To enroll students, just click the little Add button in the top, and then it gives you the little code down there, and you're waiting for students. So you're doing this on your teacher iPad, where Apple Classroom is installed, and then you leave this screen up. It's very important you leave this screen up and open. Uh, just a second, we're going to switch to a student iPad, and we're just going to move right into settings, and you'll see right underneath Bluetooth there, in just a second, classroom pops up automatically. Click it, and you're going to go down and click allow teacher to lock apps and devices. You're going to click always, and go back to classroom, then airplay and view screen is always, and then you click the little blue add styles 2017-2018, type in a student name, this is Eli's iPad. And then you type in that code that was listed on the teacher's device. Now you can have students do all of this, but then they'll be able to turn off the lock apps and devices and airplay and view screen stuff. And so if, if you want them to have that control, that's fine. You'll see it says waiting for teacher there with the spinning wheel. All that's doing is waiting for the teacher to confirm that they know this student. So we'll go back to the teacher iPad and I'll show you what happens there. So we left that screen up on Apple Classroom, add students to this class, and on the student iPad we clicked those buttons, we typed in the code, and in just a second we'll see Eli pop up here. It does take a few seconds, there's Eli, we click the add button, it's very important you click the add button, and then Eli is added to our Apple Classroom. That was just me making sure it's still recording. So Eli is here. It says offline, but it's just updating. Now we know, oh, Eli is in the settings app. We can see that without viewing his screen, without doing anything. And now I click little screen, and it gives me a little thumbnail. And if I click on him and click view screen, it shows me his actual screen in real time, everything he's doing. I'm just swiping back and forth on the screen, double clicking. Um, turned off the screen recorder on the student iPad. And now I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I lock his screen from the teacher view. You see it has a little lock symbol on the thumbnail. And we also see he's in the locked group. If I view his screen, all I see is the locked symbol. Now I've unlocked it on here, and it's back on his home screen. And I can see the home screen in my thumbnail. I will warn that viewing screens does suck the battery life of your teacher iPad and the student iPad. So use it when you need it, but not all day. This is what the student sees when you lock their iPad. And then when they unlock the iPad, it just brings them here. So that's when you just do a generic lock of the device. You can also lock students into apps. And an easy way to do that is just a good one to use is power test. Because as you know, if they get out of that during a test, they get locked out. You have to reset their test. It's super annoying. So these are all the apps that are on the student and teacher device. Um, you find power test and make sure you toggle that little thing at the bottom that says lock in app. Now Eli's iPad is locked into power test. The only way for him to get out of it is to power off his device. He can't press the home button. He can't press the power off button. He can't just click it to turn his screen off. Now if you unlock his device, he stays in power test, but now he has the ability to use his home button or to swipe and go to a different app or back to the home screen. Um, you can also open web pages and things like that using the navigate feature in the top of the Apple Classroom app, but we'll get to that later. 